So one thing that I learned during the past several crypto cycles is pay attention to the narrative. The current narrative right now is Web3 games, so that's one thing you got to take a close look at. The narrative is always changing in crypto, so make sure that you're paying close attention. During our past videos, we were talking about AAA Web3 games, upcoming Web3 games with a market cap under 50 million. Now we're going to change it up a little today. I'm going to talk about not only current games, but some of the really cool, exciting things that are happening and early projects that we can get into. Now before I get started, remember none of this is financial advice. The crypto market is incredibly volatile, so make sure that you do your own research and due diligence before you get into any project. So criticism that I get all the time is when is the Web2 gaming studios or Web2 gamers are going to get into Web3 games? Well, that brings us up to our very first project. So the first game is Champion Tactics. It's actually by Ubisoft. So for those of you who don't know, Ubisoft is one of the biggest AAA gaming studios in Web2. They make popular series like the Assassin's Creed series and then Rainbow Six. This is their first launch into Web3. So if you take a look right over here, the Champion Tactics, it's actually a Web3 PvP tactical RPG game that's about to launch, okay? It's a battler game, it's a card battler game. So they haven't launched this game yet, so you're actually really early to the game. So they haven't started their launch yet, right? Because they post their mint details right over here. So the total supply of these warlords that you can mint is about 10,000. So that's the really 10,000 PFP projects that were extremely popular during the last bull run. They're going to reserve about 2,000 of these. It's going to be on ETH, so on Ethereum, the private mint. Uh, that's a guaranteed mint, okay? This is the number of hours and how much you can mint from uh, each wallet okay so once you mint them you can actually mint champions afterward but we'll talk about that within a second and then sort of the public mint they're kind of doing it like the old school during the last bow market so they haven't determined a date yet um but it's coming up so you want to make sure that you follow them so i'm just going to jump right over here take a look at their website so this is the champion tactics the trailer is pretty cool so if you have time watch the trailer they talk about how their game is a pvp tactical rpg uh game on on PC okay it's actually officially by Ubisoft and if you go through they talk about the different elements of the game so here are the champions so if you mint a warlord it actually allows you to mint champions that you can use within the game right over here so they talk about their warlords right once you mint the warlords remember we talked about the private sale and the public sale you can actually mint champions you can mint up to five of these champions for free okay so you're, you're getting a bonus by minting a warlord because you can mint champions after that and they're determining when that mint's going to be so you definitely want to watch out for these guys on your radar Radar. So, you know, I think that this is incredibly cool. It's signaling that the Web2 gaming companies, right? Like Epic Game already has Illuvium on their store. It has Shrapnel on their store. So we could see the evolution of Web2 gamers and Web2 gaming studios start to move towards Web3. And actually what it really is, is it's digital ownership of your digital assets, of what you own. You don't want thousands of hours of playing games going to waste or buying some really cool skins, really cool weapons, characters, and then all suddenly your Web2 gaming company shuts it down and it's all gone. All of your effort is out the window. So that's where I really see this is going. So exciting times. Watch out for Ubisoft's champion tactics. So next, I want to talk about the AVEX or the Avalanche gaming ecosystem because AVEX is really coming up with their subnet. You can see a lot of actioning happening on AVEX. So that's an area that you want to pay attention to, all the games that are going to be happening on AVEX. So last week, we talked about a couple of projects. I'm just going to quickly recap them for you. So if we jump right over here. So this is the Avalanche gaming ecosystem. Um, here's on their Twitter or their X. Make sure that you follow them because they usually post upcoming games that happen on their ecosystem and there is a lot of exciting games happening so last week we talked about mirrored circle and beam right remember that mirrored circle was starting out as a gaming guild then became an investment DAO, and then transitioned over to becoming beam right now as a layer two subnet working as an app chain under the avex ecosystem okay and beam is doing quite well remember beam is backed up by mirrored circles treasury right we talked about this how mirrored circle managed their 
their treasury of about 100 million all the way throughout the bear market and now they're able to use that money uh, that treasury that they have to back up in terms of building on their own ecosystem with beam probably launching tons of games on beam so i think that beam is doing extremely well they're going to continue to go up from here as they build out their l2 with a lot of games coming to beam and a great treasury to back them up and then we also talked about shrapnel okay so for those of you who haven't seen my shrapnel video yet i've talked about shrapnel quite a few times on this channel i won't rehash everything but it's basically an fps so first person shooter game kind of like call of duty it's a triple a game and it's got great graphics so i talked about shrapnel at roughly around 17 18 cents so today it's trading at 25 cents that's roughly up 40 percent okay so shrapnel is also launching on avax so you can see the pattern the games that are coming to avax i think will do very very well and they're actually good titles as well so while we're on the topic of sort of first person shooter games let's talk about another game that people are really excited for that i've been seeing buzzing online off the grid is becoming one of the most popular web 3 games that are going to come to avex so you want to pay attention to this one this one has really good graphics it's also a triple a title as well it's different from shrapnel in the sense that it's a 150 player battle royale game it's going to be launched on avex but we don't have the time and the date for it yet the best way to think about this game is to actually take a look at some of the footage so we're just going to watch the trailer right over here so that you can take a look at the trailer so i'm just going to launch the trailer for you to see so you can see that the gameplay mechanics is actually it looks really good and in a battle royale like this i think a lot of players are going to enjoy it it also comes along with a 60 hour narrative campaign as well and you can see the gun action and the mechanics is actually quite good and this was a video from dr disrespect where he was trying out the game with some of the other gamers You can see that the game actually looks really smooth. So even though they're in their alpha right now, the gameplay actually looks very, very good. Okay, so that was a bit of the gameplay that you saw right over there. You can go on and watch the trailer. They talk about the game being a PvP and a PvE, okay? Um, and they talk about the different elements and aspects of the game. Right now, they don't have a game launch date yet, but if you take a look at the gameplay action, look at the graphics, the mechanics of it, I do think that this game is going to do extremely well. So the gameplay footage looks sick. I think that there's gonna be a lot of players who wanna play this game. One thing that I think that the team is doing that's different from all the other games is that they're focusing on both Web2 players and Web3 players. So that was the website for the Web2 gamers. It seems like it's almost detached from the token for the Web3 gamers. So for the Web3 people, they have this concept concept of guns right over here so it's basically their platform now they are going to launch this battle royale off the grid game first but they also talk about it maybe being plenty of other games and then if you go down to here i'm just going to scroll down so that you could see they talk about their in-game currency so the gun token so right now the gun token is not launched yet we don't have a date for that but they talk about how it's the official token of the guns platform so i do suspect that they will have other games in here and it would be really cool if the gun token was actually good for all of their games and they also talk about how you can earn the gun token what you can do with it you can trade buy items on the market place so i think that introducing that web 3 element in here but allowing the web 2 players not having to force them to incorporate a token will allow the onboarding of masses of players and then after that you can propose your value proposition that hey look you can own the in-game items by using this token and using the web 3 elements and aspects of web 3 so i think that's a really smart way of them introducing this so if you just go back to their profile you can see that the game is going to be launched on ps5 xbox and pc so they're very focused on onboarding the web 2 gamers right away okay so that's their focus so this is another game that's going to be coming to the AVAX subnet that I think will do extremely well once they launch it. So make sure that you put this on your calendar and watch out for when they drop their tokens or their NFTs for the game. So the next game is Domi. Domi is built on Beam, so a subnet of AVAX. So it's also another game coming to the AVAX ecosystem. That's why I said AVAX has a lot of things going on. So if you're a fan of World of Warcraft, you're going to like Domi. Domi is an MMO RPG game. Okay, so we're just going to jump right over here to see. So this is their website right over here. This is Domi. We're just going to watch a bit of the gameplay footage so that you can actually get 
and experience how Domi is. So you can see right over here, it's a huge exploration of land, just kind of like what World of Warcraft is. So the gameplay mechanics, the style, so if you enjoy MMORPG games, I'm guaranteeing that you are going to be liking this game. So just checking out the gameplay scene, seeing how it feels. They're actually in their alpha right now, so you can actually go and register to be a part of the alpha testers for this game. So if you played World of Warcraft or even heard of it, there's a huge difference between Domi versus WoW, okay? So there's actually no level cap, no skill cap. And then in Domi, the huge difference is right here, where every time you die, death comes with a major consequence, okay? So you actually lose a percentage of your experience point. Because in a normal game like World of Warcraft, the usual MMORPG game, there's no penalty at all for when you die. But in Domi, if you die, there's actually a penalty for it. So people take it a lot more serious in this game and I think it actually solves a huge issue that a lot of people have been talking about in terms of botting because the bot's gonna play this game it's gonna die it's gonna suck and it's gonna get killed on this game so I do think that it solves actually a practical aspect as well so if we take a look at the Domi ecosystem so you can actually go through and take a look at their roadmap what they're gonna do in terms of their staking contract how far they're at right now one thing is really cool is the team so the team members the founder of the, the team, he actually has 4 million followers and subscribers on YouTube, okay? So he hasn't actually promoted this game to his fans yet. I'm just going to go right over here, go on his YouTube. So you can see on his YouTube, this guy is an entertainer. He's already got 4 million subscribers. He's been in the business for a while. He hasn't actually promoted his, um, his game to his subscribers yet because he's waiting for the alpha testing and to have a more finished product before he gets out there. So that's something that I respect about founders. And if you look at the lead game developer, he's actually from RuneScape. So these people have the background and the experience to be able to build out this game. And then looking at their partners, you could see that they have a decked out team. They're obviously building in the Avalanche ecosystem. They have Animoca brands. You can recognize a lot of these uh, these brands, investors and partners, Sino Global, so Pokestarter from the previous cycle. So there's a lot of people that are invested in this game. So right now Domi's trading at 0.05 three okay so if you look at the monthly chart it looks like they've been creeping up and they have been and then there's a slight correction right over here but what a lot of people don't realize is that if you look at the all-time chart Domi's been building all throughout the bear market okay they actually launched during the last bow cycle and then of course they got crushed all the way back like every other token right so there's nothing wrong with the token but they launched at the wrong time and if you just take a look at its all-time high I'm just gonna come down here you could see that it traded up at 44 cents during the last uh, sort of bow cycle right over here two years ago and if we just take a look at the outstanding circulating coins right here it's about 264 million okay so about 26 percent of the 1 billion domi token so we're just going to crunch some numbers right over here right now it's trading at 0.053 you put in 264 million and you get a market cap of about 14 million so that's a very small market cap i do think that this team has a good product it's going to do extremely well during this bull market if we have a gaming bull run just because it's under AVAX and AVAX has a lot of things that are going on with gaming and a lot of hype so this in my opinion could easily 10x from here so this is a game you want to put on your radar and watch out for and then another thing that I really like about the Domi token right now is that it's attractive because it's trading at 0.053 cents now if you look back at their IDO back in 2021 you can see that at the IDO price it was only 0.024 so basically 2.23x so not far from its IDO price okay so this was the previous strategic round right over here that was at basically two cents and then their seed round which is this most significant risk round was 0.01 so I do think that it is appropriately priced right now now of course with a uh, incoming gaming bull run uh, this token does have a lot of room to move up so next game is also an AVAX game as well. So it's Fableborn. Fableborn is a more new game. It's starting to catch on to people's radar. So if we jump right over here, we can take a look at their website. It's basically a real-time strategy mobile game that's built on AVAX, okay? So they haven't launched yet. They haven't talked about the dates of when it's coming up, but this is one game that you wanna watch out for. So I'm just gonna play the trailer right over here for you. So this is a real-time strategy mobile base building game that's built by Pixion Games, where you build bases, you raid opponents, and 
compete against real players for rewards. So it plays very similar to games like Clash of Clans, so if you enjoy that type of genre, I think you're going to like this game a lot. You're going to be able to battle with your squads of heroes, raid islands, and earn valuable rewards. It's a PvE and a PvE mixed in together. So you can see that under the Venture Capital Investor Partners, lots of names in here, uh, but they're being built on Beam, which is Mirit Circle. And remember that Mirit Circle has that huge DAO of funds, the $100 million that they can deploy, and lots of angel investors. So I do think that this game has an opportunity to do well. So this is one that you would put on your map and watch out for when they launch their token launch. The last game I want to talk about is Cornucopius. It's a very popular game because it's launched on the Cardano blockchain. That makes it very unique because most of the Web3 games right now is either launching on ETH, Solana, AVEX. So those are the usual chains, but because this one is launched on Cardano, I think that it makes it very special. The Cardano community, the ADA community is very strong. If you know anything about crypto, it is one of those cult-like communities. And I say that with the most respect because I was a part of that cult as well. So Cornucopius is an open world MMO game that's in development. You can actually explore a lot of what they call their retro futuristic bubble verse. Uh, where you can drive the virtual economy with ownership of your own game assets. It's built on Unreal Engine 5, so you can see that the graphics, the gameplay, the scenery, it all looks really, really beautiful. And like I said, it's being built on Cardano, so you do have a lot of supporters of that ecosystem already. During the last bull run, if you take a look right over here on this chart, you can see that Cardano is trading at 38 cents. But during the last bull run, some of us were very lucky to get in at 10, 11, 12 cents, and then ADA took off, okay? It actually ran all the way close to $3. So the Cardano community is really strong, and of course you have that dump. There's hardly any games that's being built on there that I know that are good, but Cornucopius, so I'm just gonna jump right over here to the chart. Cornucopius is actually right now at 7 cents. If you just look at the one month, it has been running really hard, so it's trading at three cents so it basically doubled okay so it basically doubled over the month but if you looked at the yearly chart right right at the beginning of the year at the end of december sort of going into january we're talking about trading down at the one cents level so it's really bolted up because of this entire web 3 gaming narrative so i feel that that's really important for you to pay attention to and remember that cardano has a very strong community so if it's the top game that's launching on cardano you can bet that there will be a lot of supporters for this game okay so right now it's at 58 million so it's relatively small compared to the big games this is the outstanding circulating supply so if you take uh, 0 0.07 so basically seven cents multiplied by 821 million you arrive at roughly 57 58 million that's where it is okay and if you look at over here it's sort of all-time high and low right now it's actually at its all-time high right over here so at 0 0.07 0 0.08 that's where it's touching so that's all I got for you today. So if you found any value in this video and learned something about the upcoming projects and appreciate this content, please give it a like and also consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video.